Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at that Mach E here in a set of course if you haven't guessed from the beginning from Swissy Man. I'll leave the link in the description box below on where you can pick up this Mach E for yourself if you want to give it a rip. This thing has a lot of amazing styling with those big old beefy Nitto tires on those RTR wheels. And of course, all the Mach E with the giant wing. It's got some nice uh, NRG bits in there too, so appreciate the NRG bits. But we're gonna go full send on this. Like I said, I will leave the link where you can pick it up for yourself down in the description box below. This car is so much fun to drive. Had a lot of fun doing that initial cinematic thing here. Thought it would be fitting doing some donuts around a spaceship since this basically is the new age spaceship and it's a drift car. So we're gonna go full send with this. So, it's so crazy to me now, the wind different thing about it is it does have gears, which is not how the actual Mach-E is, the Mach-E is just, you know, drive. Um, but, for this purpose of it, some data changes could make it exact, but this thing is, it's just no, like, audio response other than just this whining noise from the electric engines, it's totally different feel. I feel like I want to do some data work on this and actually get it to be an actual electric one gear, you know, straight Mach-E replica of this thing. I had a lot of fun coming into this gas station. Oh, and not doing that in the video, but doing that and doing some uh, Gymkhana stuff with it. You know, doing a little uh, cinematic drive here on this track, if you guys haven't noticed, this is a car extract that has been ported over into a set of Corsa. But thank you to the man that sent this to me. A little curb hop. Oh, geez, a little curb hop there. Nothing major. This is out of the box downloaded. I didn't change anything other than brake pressure and bias for my personal preference of, you know, 70 and 80. Otherwise, this is just how it drives. It's so much fun being the rear-wheel drive version of it. Um, you can make an all-wheel drive version of it because Vaughn did have a rear-wheel drive and an all-wheel drive version of this car. From what I remember seeing from in the behind the scenes of him making the video. And we're just ripping this thing here today. A little uh, electric slide going on here for today's episode in this RTR Mach-E. Hitting the bumps, hitting switches. Apparently, my shift light is just dying. It's just like, hey, we're we're redlined. We need to uh, change gears. I mean, we can't actually change gears in this car, but if this was the real data from the Mach-E, we would not be changing gears at all. It would just be drive. Which I know there is a uh, Tesla motor, Tesla setup with long one gear, which. I may actually try and figure out how to work this data to make it actually like the Mach-E. Maybe figure out how to do a all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive switch on it too. This was imported over from uh, Forza, I believe, and then texturized and everything like that and put in here into a set of Corsa. And we're just having a ball with this thing right now. We can use clutch on this car, which is very weird because normally we would just be gas and brake. We don't want to go back the same way we came. We're going to go. Oh, there's a wall. Oh, sorry, Vaughn. We kind of uh, put the, the Maki into the wall a little bit I'm sorry did not mean to wreck this car I think if we go this way we can get more of this map this car just throws up so much smoke I can't even see really where I'm going third person is extremely hard with this car with the 
smoke show that this is but I love seeing this car here in a set of Corsa and it's definitely a nice addition to my fleet of cars that I have been slowly steadily growing don't try and change views while you're driving oh geez no definitely oh okay all right <clears throat> okay we're good so like I said, I'll leave the link in the description box below on where you can go to pick up the Maki if you want yourself. I believe he has it up for about $15 to download and get the password in order to download it into your game, which is not bad considering the model and this just amazing uh, work that was put into getting this car into this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little electric slide video with the Mach-E and I hope you guys had a good day or have a good remainder of the day if you're just starting off your day. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. We need to go over to the spaceship again. Little donuts around the spaceship to end this off. Ooh, that's a wall or a fence. So crazy just to hear this thing. It's like a traffic circle in Horizon. <laughs> this car is so much fun.